Today I'm going to talk about snapping scapula, which is characterized by your shoulder blade um, making like grinding, cracking noises that is sometimes accompanied by pain. What's going on everybody? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorilla Zen Fitness and like I said, today I'm talking about snapping scapula. So if your shoulder blade makes a uh, you know cracking, grinding, crunchy noise during shoulder movements, then it's likely that you have this. Now before I show you some exercises that may help with it, it's important to understand why this might be happening. So snapping scapula is most commonly caused by three things, either poor posture, soft tissue and muscle imbalances, or bony and other um, you know, rib cage tissue deformities. Additionally, in my experience, I almost always see this happening in conjunction with scapular winging, okay? So I made a video on that a long time ago. You can check it out here or in the description down below. You may not have scapular winging, you might have this, but I can almost guarantee you that if you do have scapular winging, you probably also have this. Since there are so many different causes of this snapping scapula, it's really important that you see a qualified professional, a doctor that specializes in sports medicine, maybe an osteopathic physician, or a qualified um, physical therapist. Somebody that's gonna be able to kind of rule out um, some of these bony deformities that may require surgery instead of being remedied through movement and corrective exercise. And that's unfortunately what usually happens with the um, deformities, okay? If you have like a bone cyst on your rib cage or something like that, um, there's very little that corrective exercise can do for that. You might just need to get that cyst removed. So go ahead and see a doctor and kind of uh, you know work with them to see what's going on. With that being said, if your snapping scapula is due to your horrible posture, well then you came to the right place. I talk about posture a lot on my channel here. I also just released a brand new ebook called Posture the Ultimate Life Hack. So make sure you check that out and reference that if your posture is bad and you think that might be causing the snapping scapula. You're specifically looking for a rounded upper back. I have a video to fix rounded back right over here or in the description below. Now this snapping scapula can also be caused by muscular imbalances on the scapular muscles, okay? So the muscles that attach on the shoulder blade, some of them might be weak and dysfunctional. So give these exercises a try and let me know if they help you out. Basically what these are are their scapular exercises, okay? They're designed to move the scapula, the shoulder blades, in certain uh, ranges of motion that are gonna strengthen certain muscles that are most commonly weak in people with snapping scapula. So this first movement is called a scapular protraction. It's more commonly referred to as a scapular push-up, okay? And there's two variations I wanna show you. One is a modified version, uh, which is a little bit easier, which I recommend you start with, and then after you've been doing this for a couple weeks progress into the second version that I'm going to show you. But basically what you're going to do for this first progression is you're going to start on all fours, okay, just like this. And simply the only thing you're going to do is you're going to relax your shoulder blades, let them pinch together behind your back, and then using your arms and trying to focus on a muscle in here called the serratus anterior, it attaches on your rib cage, you're going to push yourself up and slightly round your back. Down, push yourself up. Down, push yourself up. You gotta really push through as hard as you possibly can here, okay? Push through as hard as you can, push through as hard as you can, okay? So that's the one I recommend you start with just to develop some neuromuscular control over this muscle we're trying to train called the serratus anterior. The next progression is to basically get in push-up position, okay? And I'll do this here, okay, same thing. It's just that you're pushing a little bit more of your body weight, so it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. I'd recommend starting with four sets of 15 repetitions with that one. These are scapular retractions with the uh, resistance band. Basically, um, I'm gonna demonstrate this sitting, but you can do it standing, you don't have to be sitting, it'll just easier for me to shoot this um, seated. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a resistance band like this, okay? You're gonna pull it into your chest, like me, while squeezing your shoulder blades together behind your back, okay? Just like this. So, so this is pretty simple. Same with this, you can do about four sets of 15 repetitions. As you pull your arms away from one another, 
behind your back, you're thinking about squeezing your shoulder blades together, okay? That is really, really key. This one's just gonna be some resisted shoulder flexion. So with your band, you're basically gonna step right in the center of it, anchor it with one foot, try to keep that foot kind of central to your body, okay? From here, you're gonna raise the arms up overhead like this, okay? Staying in nice, a lot of control here, okay? Um, <laughs> as I fall, you're gonna do basic, for this one, you have to have a lighter resistance band. This might be pretty challenging to do if your resistance band's too heavy, but for this, we're looking for the same rep range, four sets of about 15 repetitions. Make sure you switch feet with each subsequent set. You can perform each of those exercises th for three to four sets of 15 repetitions daily. If these are not helping you out, then it's likely that your snapping scapula is caused by one of the other things that I talked about earlier in this video. At the end of the day, this is a very complicated shoulder issue and dysfunction, so I would definitely recommend you visit a professional with this. I addressed it today because I wanted to shed a little bit of light on it because a lot of you have been asking me about it recently. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, then go ahead and do that right over here. Also, like I said earlier in the video, I just made a new ebook called Posture the Ultimate Life Hack. It's all about improving posture and uh, basically why your posture needs to be improved, okay? So I put a lot of effort into it. It's basically a lot of the information that I talk about in my videos consolidated into a nice ebook. It's about 50 pages long, if I remember. Um, you just download a PDF file. If you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one and have me be your coach, then go ahead and open the description down below and hit coaching. Lastly, make sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Instagram. I've included links to both of those things in the description down below. Other than that, I'll see you next time.